We're going to take a look at the kindergarten program and how we can use Google Forms to assist us in tracking curriculum expectations and observations of our students. We can make some clear connections to collaborating and communicating within our Catholic graduate expectations as we work together as educators to document assessment and communicate with parents and students. When you first click the link that has been provided to you, you will see this page. And I invite you to click the blue Make a Copy icon. You'll be then be prompted to log into your account. At this time, please make sure you are signed out of any of your personal Gmail accounts so that we can get you to sign in to your GAF account, your Google Apps for Education account provided by the board. Please enter your board GAF account, which is your employee number at educ.dpcdsb.org. It will take you to a second sign-in screen where I invite you to enter that same information and then add your board password. This password will update in your GAF account when you change it in your board email. Once you've done that, it will open up the copy for you of our kindergarten log. You will notice that you, it opens it up into a spreadsheet view. The first thing I'd like you to do is change the name of this log. You can do so by clicking on the name and you will notice a little box pops up and you can edit that. Then I invite you to choose Form from the toolbar and select Edit from the drop-down menu. This will allow us now to edit the form. You will notice that it does open up in Editing View and we will be showing you how to edit and alter this if you choose to do so. For now, I'd like you to choose the preview icon, which is the I at the top of the screen, so that we can go ahead and explore how the form To preview the form, you'll notice as you scroll down, each of the four frames has been color-coded, and you'll notice this throughout the form to help you identify which expectations connect to which frames. We have also highlighted for you in yellow any expectations that link to literacy connections, as well blue for the numeracy connections. As you come down, you'll see how you would enter the form. The nice thing about having this particular form is that all educators that work with a particular class can enter on the same link with the same form, and you can filter out those observations later if you would like to look at only one specific educator. You will choose the student you'd like to enter the observation for. They are by default in by number. You can later edit those to names if you choose. And if you'd like to connect it to an overall expectation, the 31 overall expectations are here for you. And you'll notice that they are coded with the frames that they connect to. Some do connect to multiple frames and others connect to individual ones. You will need to decide which frame you would like to put a comment with. So wherever you think the best fit for an observation would be. By clicking next, it's going to take you into the area where you can enter your observation. Here you'll notice you can add your text. You can also add any links to any evidence if you would like to. You can do that simply by coming into your Google Drive, by right-clicking on any videos, photos, learning journeys, or other pedagogical documentation you may have created. You'll notice there's an option when you right-click to get a shareable link. You simply turn that on, select Share Settings, and there's an option here to copy a link. You then can go back to your kindergarten form You then can go back to your kindergarten form and you can simply paste the link there. You will later be able to click on that link and see the connection you made to evidence. You'll notice underneath each of the areas where you can enter your comments and observations, the specific expectations for that frame are listed here for you below. Again, you're going to notice that they are coded by frame and they are coded if they connect to literacy or numeracy. 
These are simply here for your reference. You may choose to pull some of the language from there, or you may choose to identify an expectation by number in your observations, whatever works for you. But it is nice to be able to scroll in there and see the connections to the specific expectations. Once you are finished, you're simply going to scroll to the bottom and say submit. You'll notice you can simply click another response and start again if you'd like to enter another observation. When you open up the link that was shared with you, it's going to open directly into the spreadsheet. To access the form, you will say form and you will say edit form. Here's where you can make changes to the actual form if you'd like to change how we've laid it out. You can access the how-to video on that later. What I'd like to do is direct you to how to get to the summary of responses. So you'll notice that there's an option here that says responses and it does tally how many responses you have. And right away it takes you into an overall summary. I can quickly get an idea of how many observations are done by each educator how many observations for each student, which can help me kind of keep equity there when I'm trying to observe. The overall expectations and kind of the observations that have been documented for each of those, which can later help me decide perhaps areas that I might want to provocate in my classroom. And it also breaks it down by frame, so I can tell if I'm lacking in a particular area I may want to focus some observations around a particular frame. It does also break it down for your comments here, but it does mix all your students together. So to get to your individual students' results, at the very top you're going to notice that there's a green button here in the top right hand corner that says view responses in spreadsheet and that will take you back to the spreadsheet after you have entered data in there from the form. Once you have opened your spreadsheet of responses, you're going to notice that the data falls into columns along the spreadsheet, starting by identifying the student, a timestamp of when you entered the data, the educator identified the overall expectation, and if you scroll to the right, you will notice that all of your comments and observations have been funneled into one of the four frames. So to make this easy to read when you need to maybe perhaps analyze particular individual students, I'm going to show you how you can filter the information. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this first column so that it highlights the column and I'm going to come up to where it says data. If you come down to where it says filter views You'll notice here it gives you the option to create a new filter. Once you do that, you're going to notice that it creates a little drop down arrow here. And when I click on that, you're going to notice that it has all of the students listed here. I'm going to go ahead and say clear, and I'm going to choose only student one. And when I do so, what it does is it will take out all of the other data, so I'm only looking at this particular student. Now when I scroll over, I can see the comments just for that student. You may think that it's difficult to read these comments in this format. So a little trick you can do is to simply highlight an entire column by clicking on the top, right click and say copy. Then what you can do is come down to the little bottom here and there's a plus sign and what you can do is open up a second spreadsheet. Just click into the first cell and paste and what will happen is those observations will all fall in here individually. So now I'm looking at student one and all of the comments I've made around the frame belonging and contributing. This will help when I am perhaps trying to formulate a holistic comment at different times through the year where I'd like to communicate the learning with the parents. Again once I'm done with that I don't need to keep that anymore. I can simply click back over to my other response. When I'm done looking at it with that filter, you'll notice there's a little X here. Once I click that, I'm back to seeing all my students and all my data at the same time. Again, a really easy way to analyze these data is by frame, all those observations by frame. 
if you did add a link to perhaps some more in-depth documentation, what I can do is simply highlight that link and say go to and it will go ahead and show me the work or the piece of evidence that I went ahead and attached there to identify that learning. Likewise, if you didn't enter the link at the time when you entered the observation, you can simply come into your spreadsheet and click onto the comment that you were wanting to add a link and you could go ahead and just paste it in there. A quick and simple way to look at your students' data when you're trying to look at particular comments by frame.